Hey everybody and welcome back to Firefall of History. I went ahead and changed the name of this video series just because the old one was a bit long. Um, this patch we introduced Tonkin Cave and Cliff's Edge. These are two instance Ares missions. You can go in there with a two to five man squad. Um, they are kind of fun. Uh, Playability is a little sketchy. Um, the video for both of these will be posted above their names right now. I'm not going to show them just because, or in this video anyway, just because they take about 20 minutes total to do the actual thing and longer with setup. So, anyway, other than that, quite a few bug fixes, uh, general graphics improvements. The game is running a lot smoother this patch. Um, not really too much else to talk about, so I'll go over something that I forgot about last time. Uh, last patch, 1714, they added over a dozen new special crafting items, which offer special abilities. I started writing these down to go over them, and then I realized just exactly how many there were. They have implemented special abilities for the primary of all five Accord battle frames, and at least one ability for all five Accord battle frames. So there's only over 20 modifications way too many to go over. I'll post the link to those patch notes in the description below, however. Uh, some notable examples are like you can drop what's called a drone module from Chosen Thrones, and it'll modify Crater to have a blast shield on it when you land. D drone modules seem very rare right now, but that ability also seems quite useful in my opinion, because I find myself refraining from using Crater a lot just because I'll end up dying as soon as I get down there. So that'll be fun. Um, also the other big one they were advertising is Soaring Afterburner. You can drop a component called Wings, which is not to be confused with Mosquito Wings, which allow you to hover. But the Wings component, you can craft it into your Afterburner. and it'll deploy like a glider and it has its own cool skin with it. That's pretty cool, but I don't think I'd want it personally. Um, the other crafting change is in 1714 they removed all the precious metals and DNA fragments. The precious metals were put in right after open beta. They were meant to add a little bit of depth to crafting, but the drop rate really just flooded everyone's inventories with them and the DNA was a silly thing too because they're, they didn't affect quality uh, believe it or not the uh, things you made out of the DNA modules you could make a white quality one and it would drop the quality of the component you were making down by like one so it really didn't matter so they were making things a lot more complex, they weren't hard to get, they didn't really have any effect on what was going on, so they decided to take them out altogether. Uh, that's about it. Hopefully expecting a patch this week or next with a brand new uh, full length instance in it. So that ought to be a lot of fun, looking forward to that. I will see you guys when they post it, when they uh, patch that in. And I'll post a full video of it, of course. I'll see you guys then.